Good morning, guys. Welcome to Denali. Welcome to Denali. Yeah, we are here at the McKinley Chalet Resort, right outside the main gate to Denali National Park. We're waiting on our bus because today we have the Tundra Wilderness Tour, which is like mm, most of a day mm -hmm. driving around Denali, looking for wildlife, seeing all the sights and sounds and things. Um, at first glance, it doesn't look like today is going to be as pretty of a day as yesterday. No. Uh, yesterday on the train ride, it was beautifully clear skies, got up to a high in the 60s. Today, it's kind of overcast, starting to drizzle a little bit, um, no, and it's in the 50s and some of the 60s. So, so hopefully it will hold out. Hopefully it's going to hold out. Maybe we'll be lucky and we be part be of the 30% the 30, 30 or so that actually get to see Denali from inside the park. Yeah. So we shall see. But come along. It's going to be a great day, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot of cool wildlife. I hope so. Hopefully we're going to get to see those big five. I saw two moose yesterday. <sighs> I did not. Well, actually three, because one was a big, big bull moose with a calf, mm -hmm. and then another one was just a regular yeah. size stuff. So. And of course, she saw it, didn't film it. I didn't see it. I didn't even have, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't have my it. phone on. I, hadn't, I didn't have anything with me. Yeah. I just, I went to the bathroom and I went outside and boom. But right today, there. we're looking today. for moose, yeah. bear, caribou, wolf, and doll sheep. Those are the big five here in Denali. So come along, let's I'm see what we can. For three of five. <laughs> let's see what we can get to today. So we made it on the bus. Yes, we're on the bus now. And it's very, um, it's very cold. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of tight in here. Uh, the train yesterday was really comfortable. Had lots of leg room, lots yeah, of foot yeah. room. Yeah, uh, no problems there. And this is going to be a little bit tighter, and we're not going to be able to move around as much as we could on the train. So I hope that we can stop and get off and walk around a little bit, and we're not stuck. Yeah. So, all right. Let's see what this thing's all about. Hopefully, it's going to be uh, a nice day, and we'll see lots of cool stuff. He's got feathers all the way down his legs and on his feet. This is a good spot to teach you how to use your video screens as well. Over the top of some of your heads is a black box and that black box, look forward, that black box is a video screen. You pull that down, it's held up there by a pretty strong magnet. Pull it down and push the button and uh, they don't fly very good. They fly just about as good as a chicken. Ducks are hard to identify. Do I have any birders on board? I'm kind of looking for the mate, like a rabbit. And both the snowshoe hare and the ptarmigan, they're bottom of the food chain. Some wildlife sightings. Yeah, we sure are. We've seen a ptarmigan, we've seen ground squirrels. And that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> Boo. Uh, yeah. So, no grizzlies, no moose. We thought they saw a caribou, but then we couldn't spot it again. 
I thought I saw something, but it um, just ended up being some dead, dead branches. branches. <laughs> but it, it, it could have been really a porcupine. Look, it yeah, did really right. look like a, like a. And I did see. Um, what was the first bird that we saw with the. The, the ptarmigan, yeah. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, the Alaska state bird. Cool looking bird. Yeah. Seen a couple of those. And, and a raven's nest. Squirrel. And a raven's nest, I'm yeah. about to go photograph right yeah, now. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But I think we just turned around right before the, the landslide portion. Mile 43. Uh, mile 43, yep. Uh, can't go any further than that. They're not going to have the road repaired until 2026 at the earliest, they're saying. And won't be passable until 2027. So it's still a few more years before anybody will be able to uh, take a vehicle, uh, a road vehicle, in, yeah. further into the park than that. So uh, anyway, I don't know if you can see it back there, but if we could see Denali, it would be right there. Today's a little bit cloudy and hazy, so I guess Denali is not visible. But there's another peak back there. I forget what Scott's it. Peak. Scott's Peak, yeah. Uh, we can see that. Saw Denali yesterday. So we're I guess still I guess we're still not in that 30% yeah. club. Because you have to be <laughs> in the park. Gotta be in the park and see it. And yeah. we're not in the park seeing it, so oh well. So as you can see the road going up through there. And it goes around this corner over here. Uh, they said about Three quarters of a mile past that is where uh, the permafrost on the entire mountainside uh, melted, and so the roadway was, and the whole mountain slot side was sliding down about a foot a day uh, when they finally closed the road. And they're going to have to put a bridge in because the mountainside will continue to slide. Finally. Up. 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 Just, just to the left side of the, of that, uh, the spine. Yeah, just on the left side of this spine. About halfway up. So you're gonna have to turn those, uh, turn the, uh, video cameras back on. You're gonna get screens back. Yeah, I know. They just look like a little dot. Well, our drive back was a little bit more eventful than our drive out. Yes. <laughs> we got to see um, what well, we saw caribou, caribou first. Yes. Well, we actually saw four of them. And then we saw grizzly bears. Brown bears. Brown bears. Same yeah. thing. Grizzlies, yep. Uh, if you didn't know, grizzly bears are the more interior bears. They tend to get a lot smaller than the brown bears that you often see on TV fishing for salmon and oh, stuff like because, that. Yeah. Because they have salmon. Yeah, meat get eaters. Food. Get a lot more food, get bigger, stronger. And, uh, the interior bears that don't get a lot of meat, mainly eating plant matter and berries, and, berries. and the occasional ground squirrel. Um, they don't get this big. And so. you know what? It's actually a difference of like half. Yeah. So like, so like a 500-pound grizzly and a thousand-pound brown bear. Yeah. So yeah. So if you ever come to Denali, a quick tip for you: they've got two different buses here. The uh, hand-colored bus like we were on does the, um, the uh, Tundra Wilderness Tour. Uh, they also have some other tours like Natural History and, and things like, like that. Narration yeah, kind of narration. Yeah, narration kind of tours. But those are the, uh, the organized tour buses. And then you've got 
buses like this green one back here, which are just park buses. So those go around everywhere. And uh, so those you are just kind of like hop on, hop off buses that'll take you as far into the park as they go. And you can hop off, walk a trail or take a hike and come back to the road and just flag down the next bus that comes by. So, pretty neat, pretty neat system. So a uh, huge park. What do they say? 6,000 or 6 million acres? I don't know, 6 million acres, something like that. Yeah, the crazy number. 6,000, yeah. Not quite. This is our last stop before we get back to the visitor center. It should uh, take about an hour. It take about, about an hour, yeah. We've been at this. We started at 8 o'clock this morning. It's about noon or 1220 right now so we're uh, we're coming close to the end of that five five and a half hour tour but uh, a lot of fun here neat neat place unfortunately we didn't, did not get to see Denali yet no uh, not today just enough cloud cover to uh, to obscure it and we've seen the cloud over yes denali. we've seen the cloud over denali and that's the thing <laughs> they said oh well you can see those clouds well that's where the peak is because yeah. uh, the clouds form around the peaks unless it's a super super clear day yeah so you'll see the like clouds that. but you won't see the uh, the peaks themselves yeah yeah all right it's on yesterday Cool, cool so yesterday. But yeah, it didn't count. I mean, it counts. It counts. But it doesn't we count saw Denali. For but the uh, percentage. In fact, we there. probably saw a lot more of Denali than we ever could have seen in the park because you're looking at Denali over top of other mountains here in the park. Right. Whereas we had almost a clear shot to its base yesterday. We finished on our Tundra <laughs> Wilderness Tour. Uh, we did end up seeing a golden eagle. Oh, that's right. You, yeah, you did forget to mention that earlier. I spotted it and pointed yeah. it out. And, you know, unfortunately, about half of the passengers on the bus were sleeping. So that didn't make for good wildlife spotters. Uh, we didn't see anything else. <laughs> no. I was I was doing my best to work hard the whole time and me too and, except for uh, the end my, stuff. my eyes got tired and and I fell asleep and they gave us like a half hour of quiet time I was out <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I tried not to but but anyway it was a great tour uh, we got to see as much as you can see of Denali by road mm -hmm. uh, we went basically to the end to where there's a landslide or mile 43 uh, yeah. about a mile or so before the landslide. Mm -hmm as far as they'll let us go now, and uh, came back. Saw a lot of the park, saw some areas that we might have seen moose, might have seen doll sheep, but couldn't spot any. No, we weren't. Yeah. I thought I saw the, the doll sheep. There were two white small spots on the side of a mountain, and they were like, no, it's a rock. So yeah. I, I don't know. Might have been. And Could have been. We had people, no, no, that's nothing. That's yeah. a rock. That's a rock. Yep. So. And then what we I, didn't stop to, to actually put a... Uh, no, they stopped, but they, yeah, yeah not that long. Not though. very long. Yeah. And one thing about the buses that's really cool is that they've got a camera mounted on the bus yeah. with video monitors, and that is a high-power camera with a high-power oh, yeah. zoom. I mean, I've got a 240 millimeter zoom on my camera, and it was going in uh, two to three times that at least. So it was getting getting in tight, and you could see the animals, and it was yeah. really nice. Yeah, so, it was pretty cool. Yeah, and that also helped you spot them because they could zoom out and zoom in to kind of show you where it was. Were. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. We're back at the main visitor center area here at uh, Denali in National Park. Oh, it's hard to keep your hands straight. <laughs> you do a good job, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Lori's holding the camera for the first time. I know, and the wind's Almost. blowing, it's going back and forth. <laughs> uh, so next up, we are waiting on a bus to take us over to the Sled Dog Boot Camp. Uh, I am excited about this. Yeah. We get to play with puppies. Yeah, there's, there's supposed to be some puppies there. Demonstrations. And, and, and demonstrations of how they train the sled dogs. Uh, because those are working dogs. They use dog sleds all winter long here to get around the park. Right. Uh, and so it's training camp. And yep. so it socializes them and, and we get to enjoy them as, at the same time. So. That's right. They told us today past the, uh, the headquarters building here in Denali National Park. 
They don't plow the roads. No. They'll plow to the headquarters building, but not beyond that. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, the Rangers go out on sleds with their dogs. Yeah. Uh, and they've got cabins that are one good sled day away right, and from the next. Right, and they'll stay over. And, and they'll the night. stay in those cabins mm -hmm. uh, for the extent of their trip out yeah. into the park. So uh, we get to see where they breed and raise and train those sled dogs and teach them how to do their job. Yeah. And we're supposed it's to get exciting. to play with them and pet them because they want them to socialize. Yeah. So. And you guys get to watch it with us. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. handled by the musher and everything and then their first winter they'll just go out and run next to the sled and kind of get used to different terrain. <laughs> This is my seventh season working with the National Park Service and it has taken me all over the country to see some of America's most beautiful sights. In fact, you guys are going to meet my favorite co-workers that I've ever had. Really excited. <laughs> yes, they are paid actors. So as you can see, they're not only excited to run, but they're excited to run fast. So that was pretty neat. We're back at the visitor center for yep. the, uh, the the dog uh, demo. The sled dog demo. Yep. Not that bus. <clears throat> so anyway, a little bit of facts for you about Alaskan sled dogs, Alaskan Huskies as they're called. They're not an actual breed or an actual AKC registered breed but they're descendants of the village dogs of the native peoples in this area. Uh, they have mixed in some Siberian Husky and German Shepherd and some other breeds uh, for different traits and characteristics that they want in these working dogs. Mm -hmm. They want them to have long legs so they can plow through the snow. They want them to have the big, uh, paws. Big, paw, big, big paws that are compact and don't spread out a lot mm -hmm. so that, that they can stay warm a big bushy tail so that they wrap around their nose when they sleep and, uh, warm, like and a, a double uh, double fur coat so that uh, that keeps them warm in the winter insulated and, and uh, a parka that's uh, it yep. yeah and a lot a lot of insulation and uh, hard working muscular dogs because they got to pull those sleds mm -hmm. uh, they were telling us that there are areas of this park that are considered wilderness areas they do not allow any type of um, uh, powered equipment in there, whether it's vehicles, whether it's a cordless drill, they don't allow any of that in there. So everything that they build in those areas, uh, like suspension hand bridges hand. and and trails and everything else, has to be done by hand. It's carried in by the the parts for some of these things are carried in by the sled dogs mm -hmm. on the sleds, and then they build it on site. So. Uh, 
keeping those traditional ways and maintaining uh, the culture, which is part of the National Park Service's uh, commitment and uh, and their mission. So we're waiting on our bus. That's back. why we keep looking because yeah. buses come and we don't want to get left. <laughs> but, yeah. We're waiting on our bus back to the. Uh, what is it? The McKinley Resort Chalet, uh, which is Holland America's resort here at Denali National Park. And we'll see what we can find for dinner. Yeah. Hoping we can get into the steakhouse here. If not, there's supposed It'll to be, be a tomorrow night, probably. pizza place across the street. Um, and some other things that we want to take a look at. We yeah. have not even been. Uh, more than briefly into the uh, the main lodge here, so we got to take a look at that and that's for see tomorrow. What else we got lots of see. stuff to yeah. explore and do tomorrow. We yeah. sure do. Yeah, hoping to get some hikes in, maybe have a chance to see some some more wildlife. I'm gonna see. We'll see what we can see. Again. Yeah. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like what you see. Absolutely. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. Don't miss At least out. as of today, we are on our way to 300 subscribers. Woo. Hopefully we'll be over that by the time this video airs. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be back. So all day, riding through Denali National Park and taking the bus out of the park, the bus driver's like, oh yeah, there's a moose right here on the side of the road. Sure enough, there it was. We finally got to So see that's three. I told that was you a big five. That I wanted three of five today. <laughs> and I got three of five. Yep. All right. This is a strawberry champagne mojito, I think. It has, it has prosecco. And that is uh, a blueberry uh, Moscow mule, I believe, with a, an Alaskan blueberry vodka. So we are here at the Canyon Steakhouse at McKinley Resort Chateau or McKinley Chateau Resort, which is it? I don't know. Uh, McKinley. McKinley Chalet Lodge Resort. Something like that. Anyway, Steakhouse is supposed to be pretty good. It's definitely expensive, so we'll see. In Alaska, that's what $22 worth of bacon wrapped scallops looks like. We both got the ribeye uh, with the lobster butter, and I got the mascarpone potato gratin. Let's see how all this is. The, uh, the scallops for being a uh, fairly small serving, they were tasty. It tastes like coffee. Because of the stout. So we're at, uh, is it Denali Square? 
the square. Yeah. The square. And uh, got a glass of wine, got a nice fire over here. I don't know if you can see it. And apparently in your room, you get a little card that um, gets you s'mores packet and a long stick. So we will be doing that and you'll get to see that all later. But you can only do it at one fire because there's a wood burning one back there. So you'll have to wait a little bit for that. But other than that, we got some live music, dinner if you want it. You can drink in this area and so yep. yeah, some shops and fun times. Oh yeah, I have my bag. And I was just telling this lucky lady over here that I'm very inexperienced with s'mores. <laughs> and uh, she told me to burn it. Yes. And then, is that your husband next to you? Me personally, I like, to you? Yeah. I like then, it nice and toasty brown. And her husband said, don't believe her. <laughs> well, there's yeah. two in here. When I was a, a kid, my mother's like, yeah, I like them burnt. I like them burnt. Come to find out, she only said that because that's the only way I could make them. Oh, <laughs> oh, we got two graham crackers. And compliments of Holland America. Chocolate. So they opened her up. Hey guys. Somebody's tired. Yeah, it's it's been a long week. Well, and, and you, some. And you were up a lot during the night because he had to charge all the batteries for today. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it looks like I'm going to bed early, but it's I really mean, it's it's like nine o'clock right now. It's just no. still bright out. Yeah. It's like seven to nine. But yeah, it, it's been early days and late nights for a while, and we don't have anything that we have to be at first thing in the morning. At sunset, it's not till 12, 10 a.m. Yeah, luckily the blackout curtains are, one thing I can say that they- They work pretty good. Work pretty good <laughs> in our room. Yeah. So how was your day? My day was pretty friggin' awesome. At first, it started off and it looked like, uh, we're not seeing anything. We're not gonna see Denali, which we didn't see Denali. Not today. Uh, not today. We saw it yesterday. We saw the but clouds. We saw a, a better view of it yesterday than we would have seen today. Sure. So there is that. Coming in on that train really gave you a spectacular view of Denali. Anyway guys, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Most of our viewers are not subscribers and it would really mean the world to us yes. if you would Thank say, hey, you I want to see everything you guys put out. So really appreciate that. Thank you for the support. And until next time, guys, from peaks to tides. See you on the next ride.